Hey everybody, it's Lance Iverson with Bowlift Boss here to showcase the new 2022 units and our install kits. In the video, we're going to show you how to transform your wheel driven winch into using one of our direct drive Bowlift Boss units. In the install kit, you'll find the following items. One keyed drive stub, one angled bracket, one slotted rectangle bracket short, one slotted rectangle bracket long, two 3 8 16 by four and a half inch hex head bolts, three 3 8 16 by one and a quarter hex head bolts, one 5 16 24 by one inch hex head bolt, four 3 8 16 serrated flange lock nut, eight 3 8 inch washers, one 5 16 inch fender washer, one 3 8 inch split washer, and one 8 millimeter machine key. Additional components, one synthetic grease, one thread locker. Before we get started, we'll go over a few safety precautions. Prior to installation of your Boltlift Boss unit, please thoroughly review the instructions included in the install kit. Ensure you are using the correct install kit for your Boltlift winch box. For compatibility information, please see the install kit title screen at the beginning of the video. Prior to installation, ensure the existing winch box is solidly and safely secured to the bolt lift frame. Never connect the bolt lift boss to a power source until the installation is complete. Never install a bolt lift boss unit onto a compromised winch box. Inspect the structural integrity of the winch box, bolt lift, and lift cable. If damaged or missing components are found, immediately cease operation and seek the guidance of your local bolt lift professional. Lower the bolt lift cradle into its lowest position until there is no tension on the cable. Secure the bolt with the rope so it doesn't float away. To remove the wheel from the bolt lift, remove the fastener from the center of the wheel. Turn the wheel counterclockwise until it unthreads from the winch box. Remove the front cover of the winch and disengage the brake system. Remove the 7 8 inch bronze washer from the winch input shaft and save for future use if the handwheel is required. Clean the winch box input shaft and apply thread locker directly to the shaft threads. Thread the keyway drive stub onto the winch box input shaft and hand tighten. Liberally apply grease to the shaft of the keyway drive stub. Then seat the key into the keyway slot. Remove the black rubber plug from the face of the bolt with boss unit. Align the keyway on the drive stub with the keyway entry slot on the bolt of boss unit. Push the bolt of boss unit fully onto the drive stub. Place a 3 8 inch split washer onto the 5 16 inch bolt, followed by the 5 16 fender washer. Insert the bolt into the open hole and thread it into the drive stub to secure the unit onto the winch box. Tighten the bolt to 20 pounds of torque. Do not over tighten. Reinstall the black rubber plug into its original hole. Locate the bolt lift frame upright underneath the winch box. Place the short slotted rectangle bracket against the frame on the side opposite of the bolt lift boss unit 
So the round mounting hole sits outside the butler frame and the slotted end extends out underneath the winch box. Place the long slotted rectangle bracket on the opposite side of the same upright, mirroring the position of the shorter bracket. Place a 3 8 inch washer onto each 3 8 16 by 4.5 inch hex head bolt and extend them through the aligned mounting holes outside the bowl of frame and the slotted hole underneath the winch box as shown. Loosely secure each bolt with another 3 8 washer and a 3 8 16 serrated flange lock nut. Using a 3 8 16 by 1 inch hex head bolt, two 3 8 inch washers, and a 3 8 16 serrated flange lock nut, Loosely secure one end of the angled bracket to the open mounting hole on the end of a long slotted rectangle bracket. Rotate the angled bracket upward to line its remaining mounting hole with the teardrop bracket on the back side of the bowl of boss unit. Secure the brackets with a 3 8 inch 16 by inch and a quarter hex head bolt, two 3 8 inch washers, and a 3 8 16 serrated flange lock nut. If needed, loosen the teardrop bracket from the bolt of boss unit using a 10 mm wrench to straighten the unit. Tighten all hardware when the adjustments are complete. Inspect the structural integrity of the winch box, bow lift, and lift cable. If damaged or missing components are found, immediately cease operation and seek the guidance of your local bow lift professional. At this time, it is important to check that lifting the unit can only be done when the gear head rotates in a clockwise direction. Attempting to lift in a counterclockwise direction may unscrew the unit from the winch box, causing serious personal injury or property damage. So there you have it. We've successfully installed our new Bull of Boss unit. From everybody here at Bull of Boss, we sincerely thank you for your business, and we'll see you on the water.